Today I'm breaking down the new Tangem wallet, how you can set it up in a quickly and easy way. Now let's get started with the Tangem setup guide. So what you need is of course your Tangem wallet, which comes in this package and your NFC compatible smartphone. Please note that Tangem is not coming with a desktop app, but only smartphone app as it uses the NFC from our smartphone. So definitely you need to have an NFC compatible smartphone. The first step is to download the Tangem app and you can simply go to your Apple or Play Store and download it there. But you're also getting in your Tangem box a small getting started guide. And there you can find a QR code which actually leads you to the correct app. And I will highly recommend you to scan this QR code with your smartphone instead of searching in the Google Play Store. Because with this QR code we can actually be sure that we downloaded the correct app and not any counterfeit copycat app which just wants to steal our funds. I already have the app because I do not only have the new Tangent wallet but I also still had the classic wallet so in my case I just go on this three dots and click on add a new wallet and just scan my first card with a tab on my phone. Now you can see that we need to create a wallet and here we actually have three options. The first option is the create wallet option and if you choose this one it will work the same way as the classic Tangent wallet has been working and this actually means that our seed phrases or private keys can never be exposed but they are only stored on this card or actually your two or three cards depending on which package you got. Tangem is actually recommending this option as there will be no thief who can just expose your seed phrase or even what we have shown in one of my latest videos when a guy went into routine traffic control and the police had a dash cam on his uniform and the police found his seed phrase and it was stored on the dash cam and before he even noticed all his funds has been gone. So this is something which cannot happen if you're using a tangent wallet with no seed phrase option. However, if you're using this option, keep in mind that you only have these cards as a backup. So you will not be able to migrate or import your seed phrase to any other wallets. So these cards need to be stored as securely as your seed phrase because if you are losing one card, it won't be a big deal as long as you still have at least one other card. So in order to actually access your phone, you would need one card along with your fingerprint or your access pin, or you need at least two cards. So this also means as long as you're just losing one card, the thief won't be able to do anything with that. Your funds are still safe. But this also means if you are losing too many cards and you just have one card left, I would highly recommend you to get another tangent set. And that's why if you're using the no seed phrase option, I highly, highly recommend you to get the three cards set, which cost with the promo code bonus $63. However, you have the option also to click on other options here. And with these other options, you will be able to have your own seed phrase and write it down and just use it as most any other hardware wallets. However, I do not recommend you to import any wallet or seed phrase which comes from a hot wallet or even hardware wallet which you didn't trust anymore. Because if you import the seed phrase of another wallet, it means that the old wallet still exists and you just somehow mirrored the old wallet to Tangem 2 so you can use it on the old wallet but also on the Tangem wallet. So you can still use Metamask or Ledger whatever and if you want to secure your funds of course you should not do this. Also what I would recommend you if you are using the generate seed phrase option it means that the seed phrase is generated from Tangem or the software inside and in this case your seed phrase will be temporarily displayed on your smartphone and that's why I highly recommend you for this option to either use a complete new smartphone or just a dedicated smartphone which is just used for your crypto and not used to download all random stuff and social media and clicking on a bunch of links so that you can make sure that your smartphone is actually not compromised. Additionally, what you can do is to switch on the airplane modes on the most steps. So this also reduces the risk that your seed phrase is somehow hacked. However, this is only a temporary thing. So your seed phrase is only displayed for a short term on your smartphone. And after this, you should not worry that your seed phrase is exposed because after your seed phrase is not displayed on the app anymore, 
but of course you have the access through your cards and you have the written down seed phrase too. So in this video I'll show you how you can do it the traditional way such as the classic cards and the option which Tangem recommends which is a no seed phrase option. So now we need to scan the first card you will find the card number here and also at the back side of your cards so just collect the correct card and tap it on your phone quickly. Now we can create some backup cards and here it's really important that you only can create backup cards during the setup process. Once the setup process is completed you cannot create any new backups so this is also a nice security feature of Tangem actually because this means no one could unknowingly just copy your seed phrase or your cards but you know exactly how many cards are existing which are having access to your actual wallet. Okay so now we click on add a backup card and then we tap our other cards just quickly on the smartphone until we see that it has been a success and depending if you got the two or three card sets you could either finalize the backup process now or you add your second backup card just tap it again shortly on the smartphone and it became a success. Now we have to finalize the backup process by creating an access code so just continue and you can use any access code you want to it can consist of small and capital letters or any symbols and it is case sensitive so keep this in mind please. Then we have to re-enter our access code and to finalize the backup process now we have to scan our primary card again and this time we have to tap it a little longer and then we need to scan the first backup card as well also a little longer for 15 seconds. Last but not least the second backup card or the third card in total and we scan it here again for 15 seconds. And that's it our wallet is configured and is ready to use. <laughs>